We are starting out the day with some low lying cloud cover here in Long Valley overlooking the Tam or Tamarack Resort Summit Cam. You can see there's lots of uh, clouds going on there in the valley. So that's that fog that we're going to have to wake up to this morning for doing any commuting. Look overhead because here in the Boise area, it's pretty thick. We're at a 90% humidity level at this time. 54 degrees out there, so a little bit chilly as well. Grab an extra layer if you're heading out the door. Now, we are going to take a current look at that satellite radar. Uh, there is a little bit of precipitation going on at this time, but it's very minimal. And then we're going to check out your future cast. What kinds of areas here in the region are going to continue to see that precipitation today? Because some of us are and some of us aren't. Now, then we're going to go into your regional forecast so you can have all the details depending on where you live. Now, looking outside right now, this is a look at what our skies are doing. Now, we do have a little bit of cloud cover, some leftover low pressure activity, a little bit of precipitation looks like popping up there in Fairfield this morning. But as you can see, not a lot's going on here on your screen. So that's good news. We're not waking up to a whole lot of rain, but that fog is still sticking around. But checking out what's on deck for the next couple of days, we do have more moisture coming. The thing is, it's really just isolated here to the East Central Mountains. So you're not really going to have to deal with it if you're a Treasure Valley resident, a Magic Valley resident, or you live up in the West Central Mountains. Now this is 1 p.m. This is when we're going to start to see those showers develop once again here in the East Central Mountains. We're looking at those showers and thunderstorms to really start to hang out. Then as we get closer to the evening, they dissipate from that region and we see a little bit of precipitation happening there in Twin Falls County, but most of that is going to be concentrated towards the border of Nevada. Then we're going to wake up Friday morning to a lot of cloud cover, but some nice conditions in the afternoon. And then unfortunately, uh, East Central Mountain folks are going to see a return of that action Friday afternoon. So really rinse and repeat still for the East Central mountains but the rest of us are seeing some nicer weather this morning the treasure valley waking up to that fog those temperatures hitting the upper 70s low 80s here here in the lower treasure valley by the afternoon so that's really not too bad it's going to be a nice day when that sun can come up later west central mountains also starting out the day with some foggy conditions now some of these areas are going to see a slight chance of precipitation like mccall 20 percent chance there 67 degrees but that's really going to be minimal compared to what those of us, those of us on the East Central Mountains are going to be dealing with today. We're looking at showers and thunderstorms once again, rinse and repeat here this afternoon around 1 p.m. That's when those systems are going to start to populate about a 70% chance there in Stanley. 60 degrees is going to be the high Magic Valley or we're looking at fog this morning here as well. And then that moisture is going to make its return to the Magic Valley this afternoon, but I should say this evening because it's really going to be around 8 p.m. that we start to see this shower develop and it's really only bringing Oakley a significant amount of moisture. Let's take a look at that extended forecast for the Treasure Valley over the weekend. We will see a return of some light showers, minimal precipitation, but that activity does extend through next week, even as our temperatures warm up into the upper 80s. Magic Valley also seeing a dry couple of days here with a return of that moisture over the weekend, and that extends through next week.